Hey guys, what's up? This is Ntutu Koshoba. He had been sentenced to life in prison for the murder of his lover, who was eight months pregnant with his child. Even President Ramaphosa came out and said he deserved to spend the rest of his life in prison for what he did. This is a classic case of how the love of money is the root of all evil. This man was a mastermind behind Tseko Fasopule's death. He got Tseko and her unborn child killed because he thought she would ruin his chances of living a soft life. But it's all over for him now. So two years ago, Tseko was fined hanging on a tree with a bullet wound on a chest. The person who killed her was later arrested and he confessed to the crime and implicated this guy. He told the court that Shoba hired him to murder Tseho. The reason he wanted her dead is because he didn't want his wife to find out about Tseho and her unborn child. He was afraid that he was gonna lose his wife if she finds out. And losing his wife meant he was going to miss out on a trust fund payout she just received. Can you believe it? Two innocent lives taken because of money that doesn't even belong to him. How heartless and greedy can a person be? And the sad part is that this was the second time he impregnated her. The first time he told her to abort the baby. And then he got her pregnant again. And he wanted her to do an abortion again. This time during the second trimester. She didn't do it. So he decided to take two innocent lives because he did not want to miss out on his wife's trust fund. And now he's going to spend the rest of his life in jail. I hope everyone is learning how it goes for greedy people. And even if he had succeeded and avoided consequences of his actions, do you think he was ever gonna know what peace feels like after what he did? At this point, we can only hope that the Pule family will eventually heal from this tragedy. I know it's impossible to forget something like this, and it will take everything to forgive this man. How do you guys feel about his penalty? And remember, he pleaded not guilty. He said he was being framed. And that's why the guy he hired to murder Tseho was given a lighter sentence than him. Was the driving force behind the scheme? and has done nothing since Miss Poulet's murder to merit the kind of leniency that Mr. Malapani received. Mr. Macabella did not identify any other factor that would justify a departure from the statutory penalty. He drew my attention to the year or so that Mr. Shorba has spent in pretrial incarceration, but accepted that this could not on its own justify a departure from that penalty. Mr. Shorba, can you stand up, please? For all these reasons, Mr. Shorba, I am enjoined by the statute to apply the ordinary sentence for an offence of this nature. You will spend the rest of your natural life in prison unless the parole authorities consider you fit for release in the fullness of time. The court will adjourn. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, please subscribe. If you have already subscribed to the channel, please turn on notifications. If you have already turned on notifications, you're awesome. And I want you to know that I appreciate you. Thank you. See you in the next video.